Hello, my name is Dr Abby Bradshaw and this is a brief talk through of my poster on phonetic convergence effects during choral speech. When we're engaged in a conversation with another person, a phenomenon called phonetic convergence can occur in which our voice can start to sound like the voice of the person we're speaking with. In this study, we aim to investigate this kind of implicit imitation during choral speech, the act of speaking in synchrony with another person. We predicted that speakers would change the pitch of their speech productions in order to become more similar to the pitch of a voice they are synchronising with. To test this, we ran a series of online experiments, which all involved asking participants to read a series of sentences, first on their own in a solo reading task, and then in synchrony with another person, known as the accompanist. In experiment one, we had two groups who each experienced a different accompanist voice, one with an unusually high fundamental frequency, also known as F0, and one with an unusually low F0. In experiment two, we tested a further group of participants with an accompanist with an even lower F0. And finally, in experiment three, we tested participants in three choral speech conditions, an audio-only choral speech condition, as in experiments one and two, a visual-only condition, where participants spoke in synchrony with silent videos of another talker, and an audio-visual condition involving the same videos, this time with sound. We looked at the change in participants produced F0 from solo reading to choral speech, as well as the absolute distance between the participants F0 and the accompanist voice F0 at the two phases of the experiment. Results from experiment one found that as predicted, participants increased their F0 when synchronizing with the high F0 voice, but decreased it when synchronizing with the low F0 voice. However, as you can see in this plot, convergence, that is the reduction in distance from solo reading to choral speech, was greater in the high F0 condition compared to the low F0 condition. The same was found in experiment two for the group who experienced the accompanist voice with an even lower F0. Experiment three found that convergence in F0 was not seen in the visual only condition in which participants instead tended to decrease their F0 values. Furthermore, enhanced convergence was seen when participants could both hear and see the accompanist in the visual plus audio condition. Overall, these findings demonstrate evidence of phonetic convergence in F0 during choral speech. Experiment 3 provides critical evidence that these convergent F0 changes aren't seen when simply coordinating the timing of one's speech with an external stimulus, suggesting that they reflect true convergence to the accompanist's voice. Furthermore, being able to see as well as hear the other speaker increase convergence. This may be because it simply improves synchronization success, or perhaps it may have increased the speaker's perception of a social interaction taking place. Thank you for your attention, and I'd be very happy to hear any feedback or questions you have about this work.